Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and in today's video I am over the moon excited to share with you guys some fun and easy DIY Dollar Tree organization and storage ideas. Listen, I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget and I feel like tidying up your home is just such a great way to start out the new year. If you guys are just tuning in, I recently took a tumble off of a ladder tidying up my home. <laughs> So I'm about four weeks out from posting new content, but please bear with me. I'm continuing to try to post and um, just keep you guys inspired to craft and decorate on a budget. And if you guys love doing that, definitely consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. Punch the bell, click all, it will update you every single time I post a new video. And if you want daily videos from me, follow my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. And I even have a little group page you guys can post on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get out all of our um, boxes and um, decluttering supplies and organizational supplies, maybe even plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to tidying and crafting. And that is what the pros say to do. Marie Kondo is where I got this idea to get everything out of that space and to go through all of it. And she says to sort through everything and make sure every single item is bringing you joy. Um, and then just try to hang on to a couple of items that are maybe sentimental. So some of my t-shirts that I did hang on to were from my kids' sporting events or my daughter's dance. And and just as a mama, I can't get rid of those items. I probably will hang on to them forever. And when I'm old and gone, my kids will have to sort through them and pitch them. But when I want to pull them out and feel close to them, I'll wear them as a jammy shirt. And that's just me as a mom. So some items I think it's okay to hang on to as a sentimental value. And so speaking of sentimental items, um, I did go ahead and pick up some of those larger Dollar Tree bins for the items that I do not use as often or I can just put up on the shelf um, such as like my seasonal Santa um, gear or wear. That's kind of a funny category to have in your closet, but I do have that. I do a lot of Christmas decorating at church. I dress up for the kiddos um, in Christmas, you know, outfits or whatnot. And for you guys here on YouTube, I like to be festive and wear, you know, colorful shirts that go along with the season. And sometimes I even match my shirts to my crafts. If you guys have noticed that, not always intentionally, but I'll be inspired maybe unintentionally. Anyway, I have a bunch of Santa shirts, a Santa robe, you know, all these Santa clothes that I don't need year round and I actually don't need to see them. So I didn't really feel like I needed clear organizing. People are overstock items where we have like extra overstock water bottles and extra pet food. And so I used some of those Dollar Tree kind of collapsible storage bins to store a lot of those things kind of out of sight. And they're really, really neat. Now, I will tell you that they're probably not the most sturdy. So if you're going to be um, reorganizing a space and you're going to be having like kiddos in and out of that space, you might want to go the extra couple of dollars and go to Target or go to Dollar Tree and get like the locker bins, um, something very sturdy. So the canvas bags or the little window bags that I did use in this space weren't quite as sturdy as you might need them to be if they're being pulled in and out a lot. But for an aesthetic purpose and just for an organizing purpose, if you are just storing things as, as an overstock, I think these will work just fine. So I will let you guys know and update you as I go along what I think about these. Um, they do have a very sturdy kind of heavy duty like plastic canvas. Um, and so I was pretty pleased with them and I was really pleased with how great that they looked. Again, I have been supplies. I picked up several different size containers from Dollar Tree and I found these clear containers with these lids that are actually stackable. You guys, they are absolutely amazing. I also picked up some of their larger bins and then I hit the jackpot at TJ Maxx with these four pack of clear containers for $16.99. If you guys have been watching my Instagram stories, you might know that I have been recently hooked on the home edit. These ladies rocked the world of organization. They are a little bit pricey, so I'm trying to do this on a budget. Now, also from Dollar Tree, I picked up these chalkboard tags. I picked up these longer tags, which I actually didn't end up using, and then also these heart tags. Now, here's the space that I'm working with. You can see my attempts at starting some organization. I have things in bins, um, but seriously, I've really got to get things working. So how I'm going to go about 
organizing all of my stuff is I have things put into totes and then I'm going to take all of my totes and put them into the center of the room. So basically just clearing out the space so I can see what I have to work with. Um, right now I'm kind of doing a seasonal changeover from Christmas to Valentine's Day. So really clearing off all of my spaces. So all of my tables and <laughs> just putting everything into totes and then I'm going to go through the totes and sort everything by category. And then once I have the categories, then I can organize the categories into my smaller containers and then label those smaller containers. This project took all day, you guys, and then in, into the evening. And it was a little bit overwhelming, but let me tell you, once I got started on it, it felt really good. So right now I'm sorting out Christmas ornaments and then I'm kind of micro sorting them into some of the smaller Dollar Tree shoe boxes. The Dollar Tree shoe boxes work amazing for any of the micro um, organizing st sorting that you may need to do. Now this is my Valentine's Day. So I'm sorting the Valentine's Day roses into some of those clear containers and a little trick you guys can use for sorting your florals is to take them and bend those stems in half and then they can pop down into some of your shorter containers. I thought they looked really pretty and florals are so fun to display so leave some of your pretty items out. That's another little tip that I have for you guys. Now I'm continuing to sort some of my Valentine's Day goodies and you can see I'm trying to sort them by category. So for my craft organization I like to sort things where I have like the decor signs together, the paper goods together, um, my fabric scarves and some of that goodies together, and then all of my wreath making supplies together. And then of course my ribbons together. For some reason I had St. Patrick's Day stored with Valentine's Day. I think because that holiday is kind of around the same time and I don't really decorate for St. Patrick's Day, but I always try to pick up one or two things to try to show one or two decor ideas for that holiday as well. So here's everything kind of sorted onto the table. And then here is all of my bins. I went ahead and placed all of the clear bins out on this tall, um, silver wire storage rack. We already had this rack and to be honest with you, I felt like I couldn't start this project until I had gone out and bought a new rack, but I'm gonna tell you guys this, try to use what you already have on hand. And once I already started organizing on it, it ended up working a lot better than what I thought it was going to. And then I left some of them empty off to the side. Now I also took and I emptied a lot of my Dollar Tree um, crafting supplies into the little Dollar Tree storage container. So here's the gems and here's some of the stones. And this is an amazing tip I have for you guys and something that I think is really gonna work for me. And then I just um, pop the little tops back onto those. So once I had everything sorted into categories and put into my containers, I added the super adorable little Dollar Tree labels onto the front. And what I did was I cut up command strips and then just use the command strips and attach the command strips to the back of my little labels and then use the chalkboard labels from Dollar Tree. And luckily, so many things fit in these larger clear containers and these were from TJ Maxx. And so I organized my paints together with my chalk paint and then I tried to kind of keep them color coded with my golds and silvers and whites and then here are my acrylic paints and you can see how they all kind of flow together and there's all my cute little Dollar Tree signs and I love these smaller Dollar Tree containers again because they have the cute little lids and they're stackable which was a total winner for me again if you guys look on the home edit website they do have stackable containers but they're super expensive so I'm hoping to save up for those but until then we'll just use some of the inexpensive more Dollar Tree finds and then I did organize by categories here with the pom-poms and some of those candlesticks and who can resist this just like puffy um, layer of pom-poms oh my goodness and then I have my little Dollar Tree fur but really they're just like the little um, microfiber mop gloss I called them fur because 
I thought that was like a cuter way. And then I organized my yarn together, my little pom-poms back there. And then I put my pretty bling up front. If you guys notice, I did try to put my prettier things up front because aesthetically, I just felt like that would help me be more motivated to craft with my prettier things and just kind of make it look more attractive to the eye. I also took all of my bling jewels out of their packaging. And so many of you guys ask me where I get my bling craft jewels. I get them from totallydazzle.com and I will leave um, a link down below. And then there's all of my glitter. And I also get my glitter at Walmart. You guys, they have the really amazing glitter and then there's just my little um bowl fillers they come in like the little packs at dollar tree and i do do some fun diys with those so i have so many fun valentine's day and easter and spring diys coming for you guys and there's my glue sticks back there in the back and then moving down to the lower level is kind of like my back stock and then here's just kind of an overview of that whole level right there that's kind of at the eye level and then moving down here i have like my wreaths and then just mirrors and then that kind of good stuff so kind of like the larger things that need a little bit more room so this was a little bit of a filled container i really don't like to fill things that full but sometimes you just have to do your best. And then there's Benji Bear. He was my little helper. You guys know he's my little studio pupper. And then I did put like some of my Dollar Tree succulents in this one. I still need to label all these. You guys, this was such a massive project to be honest with you. I did have to declutter a lot of things. I sent some stuff to the thrift stores. Some stuff I had to put in a large tote to come back to because honestly, it just So was here's what I ended up with. I ended up with four of the locker styles and then four of the other little baskets and then the one over here I knew I wanted to put my trash bags in and then I wanted to put paper towels or toilet paper in those I also picked up these cute little frames for a DIY I want to share with you guys I thought I may use this contact paper not for sure yet and then look at that they had these spring goodies I also got this jar at Walmart to put my soap in I am just so excited for this project I have been spring dreaming of a beautiful fun laundry room so I'm going to go ahead and check off some of the items on my to-do list I hung up all my clothes I decluttered I sorted my socks which is so oh my goodness not my favorite at all but I got it done I felt so great I bought my containers I also bought my labels and then I had to share with you guys a couple Couple of these little goodies I picked these up actually at Dollar General had some of these and they were half off so they made them about a dollar 25 I have some extra soaps I get all of my cleaning products off of Grove Collaborative I'll leave a link for you all if you need to try some delicious yummy smelling cleaners I have a five piece free gift set for you guys with a $20 purchase so I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of my dishwasher packs and put them into this clear container. I do wanna use clear containers for some of the things that I know I need to reorder and keep stocked. I like to make sure I have plenty of dishwasher packs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in this one. And then in this other one, I have some gel hand soap. I bought some of this off of Grove on sale. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that into this one. And oh my goodness, you guys, this just feels so good to get everything organized. I have extra dish soap that I'm gonna go ahead and pack into this one and I even decluttered some of these by going ahead earlier and filling up my dish soap and my hand soaps and then here were some bath and body work sprays that I got at a super huge discount during Christmas so I'm going to go ahead and pack those away we'll be totally stocked up on sprays as well I just love that so here they all are I am so excited for these colors and also that they're clear they had them at Target for much more so now I'm just going to go ahead and pull everything down and begin to sort and organize everything into my Dollar Tree bins. I do have to mention that organization is all a bit of trial and error. I know some of these bins are going to change up on how many things that I actually have in stock and how many things I want to keep, you know, what sizes these items come in. I don't always have a lot of extra tissue in the house, but right now we're keeping tissue pretty much everywhere. Comment and let me know if you guys are. Um, sometimes I have extra candles and really sometimes I don't, but I do want to have a designated spot 
for all of these extra goodies. I have extra light bulbs. So labeling these and keeping them in a spot hopefully will help me know what I have, what I need to stock up on, and what I need to look for bargains on. You guys know me, I'm a total bargain shopper. And so living with an organization system is always going to be changing somewhat, I feel like, until you really find something that works for you and your family and your lifestyle. I was really excited about this. This little jar at Walmart was only, I believe, $5.87, and it, hold two, it held two bottles of my laundry detergent. I use the Mango Laundry Detergent from Grove Collaborative. It's the Method Laundry Detergent, and it smells so delicious. My husband has really sensitive skin, and it does not irritate his skin, and it just has this really soft um, smell to it that I absolutely love. So I wanted to put it in this little dispenser and just make it kind of cute and fun. I also went ahead and printed some labels off of graphicsfairy.com. I will leave the link down below for you all to go to their website. You just search labels and I chose these cute little French labels. I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge them on the front of these little locker bins. I really wanted something cute and fancy and my label maker is out of the little um, sticky tabs that I need to print the labels on. So I decided to make these labels and then when I get the refill, I can actually print out what's in these bins. But you guys know me, I have to go a little bit extra and do something fun and fabulous. And I really thought that these labels were so adorable and they really dolled up these kind of plain plastic bins, which the bins are great. They're completely fine, but you guys know I, I love to go a little bit extra. So I did Mod Podge on the back and then also on the front and how adorable is this oh my goodness i also went ahead and took like a little tissue and tried to kind of clean up my mess in and around where i added that mod podge oh it wouldn't be an olivia video i don't think if i didn't go ahead and diy and decorate something so after the cleaning and the decluttering and organizing was done I had to go to town doing some DIYs. So definitely this was so fun. And then I'm taking that blessed sign that we made in my last set of DIYs and I'm just taking this little Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm just gonna pull the ribbon through and add a cute little hanger to the top of the blessed sign. I just thought this would be a great little sign for my laundry room. So I decided to hang this little bless sign right here. I've actually hung quite a bit of artwork here before. I need to do some hole filling in. And then I decided to go ahead and try out some Dollar Tree contact paper on the top of my little shelf that's in the laundry room. The shelf has definitely seen better days and I've repainted it multiple times. So I decided since I'm going with kind of this French farmhouse theme, the Dollar Tree contact paper will be absolutely perfect. I ended up not having quite as much as I wanted, but I think I can go back in with some more later on, but I thought it came out really fun and fabulous. And if you have not tried the Dollar Tree contact paper, I really encourage you guys to try it. It takes a little bit of trial and error, but the results are absolutely fantastic. I love it. The next thing I wanted to do to change things up a bit was to go ahead and take out the pink rose curtain, which I absolutely love. I've had this hung in my laundry room forever, but since I'm going with more of a French farmhouse theme, I decided to use this really pretty cream and black um, fabric that I had DIY'd. I actually made some really adorable curtains back during fall time, I believe, and they fit just perfectly into this space. So that's such a fun way to refresh a space. And it's also gonna cover up the ugly, unsightly um, water heater back there and some of those big cords and all of that 
um, not so fun stuff to look at. And then I also did find this little um, kind of check gingham curtain at the thrift store and I decided to add that over some more of my unsightly um, cords and different things like that. For the next DIY, I just took this little aqua planter from Dollar Tree and I popped this little styrofoam ball that had some Dollar Tree hydrangeas that I DIY'd a couple of videos back that fit perfectly into this space. And now after everything is all decorated and sorted and organized, it's time to just give it a little tidy up. Right now I am still using up the rest of my peppermint um, cleaner that I got. It was actually through Christmas, but it's such a fresh scent. I've been using it. Um, this last month, but I think I have my eye on some different fragrances for spring. Comment and let me know what your favorite Mrs. Myers fragrance or cleaners for spring. I just love how delicious they are to clean with. And it's just this fun little treat for myself that I love to do just to have something fun and fabulous. So here is a look at what the finished product looks like. I am over the moon excited for this. I just think that this looks so classy and elegant and it was done on the cheap for sure. These Dollar Tree bins I think came out really beautiful adding those little French labels I feel like was just the perfect touch and I didn't go out and spend a bunch of money on this project. A lot of it was just decluttering and organizing but making it fun with these bright colored bins just really brought a smile to my face. I can't wait to label everything where I know exactly what's in these bins. That's the only thing, of course, I did organize it and I'm the one that's usually in and out of these bins anyway, but oh my goodness, comment and let me know what you think about this. And also comment and let me know if you guys are gonna be doing any organizing. If so, what are your favorite colors to organize with right now? I would love to hear what you guys are up to and what you're doing for your spring cleaning and tidying. I can't even tell you how good this felt. And just look around your house because you may have like an extra special little curtain somewhere, some flowers, and a couple of little bins and labels and you are in the money. You're ready to go to do some fun organizing. Oh my goodness. So fun and fabulous. Oh, and I also repainted um, that little white wicker hamper. That was another thing that kind of transformed this space. I felt like kind of updating that, giving it a nice little fresh coat of paint. And also a little note, if you guys paint wicker, I would definitely try to use spray paint because brush painting wicker can be a lot to deal with. I also found this cute little wash dry fold repeat sign at Dollar Tree. It was on a bottom shelf. I couldn't believe I found it. I was so excited. It went in perfectly with my new laundry room colors. So definitely this is going to be a fun space. And now I won't be embarrassed for when this laundry closet is open and somebody happens to pass by. They won't think that... <laughs> I am just a slob or a crazy hoarder, which is what I felt like it looked like before. So now hopefully this will push me to stay more organized and maybe it will inspire me to keep up with my laundry better. I feel like laundry is so hard to keep up with. I don't know. Comment and let me know if you guys have any great systems for me. Do you do a load every day? How do you stay where you keep up with your laundry? I feel like I get so busy and I just let it fall behind so easy. So Anyway, I would love to hear what your tips and tricks are for laundry room organization and also keeping up with keeping the laundry done. And then another trouble spot for me in my laundry room is always my socks. I always grew up just having the sock basket that we threw all of our socks into, but I'm really going to try to strive, I feel like, to keep the socks more sorted and organized and hopefully that will help us know where our socks are and not have them just thrown in a sock basket that everybody has to dig through. It might be a hard habit to break though, to be completely honest with you. Can you guys tell I didn't put a basket out though for socks? Hopefully the basket that I set out is only for the clean laundry that we're going to fold and put away quickly. Hopefully. Crossing my fingers. <laughs> Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys.
So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. Listen, if you guys are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And for everybody that comes back and loves on me, thank you so, so much. Your prayers and love are appreciated, especially at this time. I have never been, had like a mobility issue per se, um, but I am four weeks out now um, from being able to take off my walking boot and hopefully getting off crutches and then starting to rehab my ankle. So anyway, just be careful on ladders and be careful in, in general, goodness gracious. But anyway, you guys, I always encourage everybody to be kind online. So if you need prayer requests, you're on a video that has a comment section, drop those um, comments down below. Let's light up this comment section with positivity, love, grace, gratitude. Um, if you have a new recipe you want to share with the group, we have a community here. You're part of a community um, that loves to craft and decorate Olivia's Romantic Home. So it's me. I'm a one women show. <laughs> But I just want to remind you guys, um, definitely be kind online. You don't ever know what, know what somebody is going through. They might have a smile on their face, um, but you just don't ever know what their day may bring. And listen, speaking of what your day may bring, remember every time that we wake up, it's another gift that God has given us. He says, hey, you've opened your eyes. So do your best to be a blessing. If you're on a social media platform, such as Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube, give people's like, um, post a heart, a like, a kind comment. You know, maybe somebody on their Facebook um, page post a picture of their grandkids or kiddos or something inspirational. Just make sure you build that person up with positivity. And if there's somebody that posts something negative, you could just keep on going. You don't have to chime in on negativity. Trust me. When you put goodness out, it will come back to you. So let's just share the love um, and uh, just continue to say some prayers for me getting back up and running on my foot. <laughs> and I'll say some prayers for y'all. I'm so thankful, blessed, and honored to have you guys here. Um, the fact that you guys are still hanging out with me. I've had a crazy last couple of years. I can't even begin to tell you. But anyway, hey, we're still up and running. I love y'all. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. And until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves. And be kind of want to talk to you guys very soon. Bye.